Let's clone a new Windows XP machine. First we right clicked on the original XP machine, then on clone. In our example we have changed the name to Windows XP Original Guest 05, then clicked on next and accepted all the default settings. We need now to attach an extra hard drive by selecting the machine, then settings, Storage, Add Hard Drive, Create New Disk, and then the following default settings. When prompted, we change the name to Guest 05, and again follow the default settings. When Windows XP started, we checked my computer and I expected the new hard drive did not appear, since it will need initialising, navigating to control panel and changing to classic view. Clicking on administrative tools, computer management, storage and then disk management. Following the on screen prompts, then clicking on the black bar of disk 1, action, all tasks, the new partition, Again, we followed all the default settings. When prompted, we changed the volume label to Backup Drive and selected Perform a Quick Format. Once done, we return to my computer to find the backup drive. Now to run the first backup, which will be the full backup. Remember, this is the starting point for all other backups. So. All programs, accessories, system tools, then backup followed by the default settings. Here we can see the options, my documents and settings. So what files and folders do they include? Navigate into my computer, C drive, show me the contents of this folder, then documents and settings. Each time a user logs on, a user account will be created. In our example, there is just the one user called user01. So when we select documents and settings, then only the files and folders found within my documents and settings of the user that is logged on will be backed up. In our example, only user01 files and folders. Here we have followed the default settings until prompted for destination. So we've clicked on Browse, My Computer, then E Drive, and we've changed the name to Full Backup. At the next screen we have clicked on Advanced and we will have the option to change to the type of backup we want to run. We shall leave this as Normal or Full Backup and once again follow the default settings and the backup process will begin. Now to check on the backup drive. So here we have our full backup that we saw in the animation. So anything that is created or changed from this point will be included within the incremental backup, but not the full backup we have just run. We shall now make some new altered data, starting the app called Paint. Then pressing the print screen key and this will take a screenshot of the desktop. In paint we clicked on edit then paste. We then saved it to my pictures as Monday new file. We shall also create a new file that we shall update just before each run of the backup in my documents. So we clicked on start my documents. File, New, Text Document and change the name to Monday New Document Filed. Double clicking on it will open it and we've added the text This was created on Monday. Then we save the file, then closed my documents. So the only two things we have not backed up in our full backup 
are these two files. Now to run the first incremental backup, so we navigate to backup. And change the name to first incremental backup. Then we click on advanced and change this to incremental Then finish. Let's check up on the backup log by navigating to backup. We then select restore file and settings. Here we can clearly see the two backups that have been run. The first full backup and the next called first incremental backup. Let's check on the first incremental backup by double clicking on it. Then C drive followed by documents and settings. Remember we are only backing up user 01 so we double click on that user. Here are the list of items that are included within the backup so we double click on my documents. Here we can see the text document called Monday new document and when we double click on my pictures we can find the screenshot called Monday new file. These are the two files not included in the last backup. Now to add further data. So we press the print screen key again. Paste to paint. Save as choose the new file. We navigate to the file called Monday text document found in my documents. And add the text altered on Tuesday. Then save. Back to backup. Backup files and settings. My documents and settings. Leave as E and change the name to second incremental. Clicking on advance, then change it to incremental. Then finish. Again, let's check on the backup logs. Restore files and settings. Double clicking on the second incremental backup. C. Documents and settings. Users or one. My documents. Once again, we can find the Monday new document. Since we have altered this file, and if we check my pictures, we only find choose this new file. Since the Monday new file was included in the last backup, call the first incremental backup. Again, we'll go through the same procedure as before. Print screen, edit, paste in paint. Wednesday new file. My documents, Monday text document, altered on Wednesday, save. Backup procedure now. Backup files and settings, my documents and settings, Third incremental, advanced, incremental, finish and close. Check the backup log. Restore files and settings. Next, third incremental backup. C. Documents and settings. Is it all one? My documents. As expected, we find the Monday new document file since this was been altered and in my pictures, Wednesday new file. Now to create Thursday. Print screen. Edit. Paste in paint. Thursday new file. 
My Documents, Monday Text Document. We have added the text, altered on Thursday. Save, close all windows. Back up again. Change to fourth incremental. In advance, change to incremental. To check the backup log, we start backup. Restore files and settings, then double click on the fourth incremental backup. C Documents and Settings, User 01, My Documents. Again, the Monday new document file has been backed up. My Pictures, and of course, Thursday new file. So we can plainly see what is happening. We create a new file, the screenshot, and altered the file called Monday new document file. When the incremental backup was run, only the new screenshot was backed up, as the other screenshots had been saved in the previous backups. The file called Monday New Document File was also backed up since this had been altered. Remember new and altered from the previous backup. Now the final backup called Friday. Print screen, edit, paste in paint, Friday new file, my documents, Monday text document. And we add the text, altered on Friday, save. Run incremental backup again. Backup files and settings. My documents and settings. Change the fifth incremental. In advance, change to incremental. To check up the backup log, we start backup, next, restore files and settings, then double click on the fifth incremental backup, C, documents and settings, user 01, my documents, again the Monday new document file has been backed up, my pictures and of course the Friday new file. Now be apparent how the incremental backups work. Only backing up files and folders that have not been backed up by a previous backup. Next we need to see practical examples of restoring files and folders.